Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Before we get started, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Harakakwadash, double honors to my old apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the Akim of Great Millstone pushing his truth throughout the four corners in these last days. Shalom. Okay, and uh, the title of this video, okay, it'll be going into um, uh, persecution. Okay, which is right around the corner. All right. <clears throat> you know, and uh before I get this precept, I wanna get second Israel's nine and one. Just the first first verse. Just second Israel's nine and one. It says he uh he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. Okay, so that's how you know, Measure, measuring the times, okay? You measure the times by watching these prophecies happen, you know? So we're, we're coming up into this, this time, this uh, 2nd Ezra 16, 70, it says, uh, let me see, now nah, I'm just get to the point. Second Ezra 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Okay? That's coming. All right? And we see, uh, you know, Esau, the so-called white man, he's coming for the, the Hebrew Israelites. All right? He's coming for the, the, the uh, true men of the Lord. All right? Why? Because we have been exposing him. Okay? He knows he he knows who we are and we know who they are, okay. And he knows that okay these these niggas are woke, all right. They came back to who they are, you know. They came back to their uh their heritage, you know. They found out the true name of the heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Al Shah, you know. <clears throat> all right. So that great insurrection is coming, and how do we know it's coming? Because when you see uh, Esau coming in like a flood, okay, we see him like he's just intensifying, like he's coming at the Hebrew Israelites, you know, harder and harder and harder, okay? Like the way he's using uh, Kanye West, you know, and these other su uh, superstars, uh, famous people, you know, they're all being used at the end of the day. You know, so this devil, so he can come down on the men of the Lord, you know. He is all about accusing the brethren. You know, he's an accuser. You know, let me get that. Accuser. Uh, yeah, this uh, Revelation, Revelation 12 and 10. And it says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of Yahweh and the power of his uh, anointed, Hamashach Yahweh For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Right. So he's the accuser. The white man is the accuser. He's trying to demonize us. You know. And we did nothing wrong, you know. You know, uh, Esau, the so-called white man, he's setting up fake Hebrews like camps. He's buying them out, you know, uh, giving them large sum of money and, and whatnot in order for them to preach false, you know, to to uh, teach a, a false doctrine. You know, they're bought and paid for. And he's sending agents amongst, you know, uh, different camps to try to infiltrate. So this devil, he knows we have the truth. Okay, anytime you speak, okay, against uh, uh, the Ashkenazis, okay, which they're not the uh, they're not the original uh, J E W S. Okay, they're imposters. But as soon as you speak against them, it, it, 
you know, they on your ass like white on rice, you know. <clears throat> and we know, well, that's not to get off topic. But, uh, yeah, so he's the accuser of our brother. Okay. <clears throat> but guess what? The elect, we're going to overcome this. You can't, you can't, uh... I'm going to get that priest up next. You can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. Uh, Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Okay? So, this insurrection that's coming on the men of the Lord, this persecution, okay? You know, it's... it's it's further in the truth at the end of the day. We're getting closer and closer to the kingdom of heaven. You know? So this is beautiful times we're living in. We're watching persecution. Uh, what's the word? Uh, brew. Brew. Okay? You know, we see how this devil, he's about to come down with great wrath. You know? And the Lord told us to count it all joy. You're supposed to get happy when you see the scriptures speaking, you know, when you see the prophecies actually, when you see the prophecies actually happening, you should light up with joy. Like, yes, you know. <clears throat> and uh, this Second Peter one and nineteen, Second Peter one and nineteen. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. But the point is, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, you know? So we see how powerful Yahweh Shemal Shah is, you know? He have declared the end from the beginning, you know? <clears throat> This is uh, Matthew 24. Let's start at. I'm going to read 3. Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of the, thy coming and of the end of the world? All right. And Yahweh shall answer and say unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Right, you have a lot of deception going on in the world, you know. There's only one truth, one doctrine. There's only one power, one Lord, okay? <clears throat> you can't serve two masters. All right. Now I'm going to jump down. Well, I'm going to start at six. Yeah, I'm going to start at six. It says, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right, and we're in the last days. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. All right, and that's the time we're entering in. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. That's the time we're living in. All right. <clears throat> and because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. And we got to endure unto the end. You know, we got to, uh, the name of Yahweh Shemal Shah is a strong tower. Okay, Proverbs 18 and 10, you know, so we just got to maintain and trust in the Lord and don't uh, make haste in the time of trouble. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Right. You know. <clears throat> and, you know, Esau, uh, he's not going to admit, but. Since uh, the Hebrew Israelites been on the scene, everything been upside down. 
okay? The 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 spirit, the the pride of this devil, that it you know, thing prophecies been happening. I'm gonna say that since the prophets, beginning with Alba Bivens, all right, all the way up to uh to my elder apostles, Great Millstone, all you know, all the way up to this this point here, 2022, almost in November, okay. It just been nothing but prophecies, you know. So that shows you who the Lord dealing with, you know. And we're gonna uh, end it off on Deuteronomy, and that's what it what a, a, a the word prophet means to say before. So if a, if a, you know these great men been telling you all these things gonna happen, then they're happening, okay? That let you know the Lord sent them, okay? You know, <clears throat> it's uh, Deuteronomy 18. I'm going to start at uh, it's the last verse. Yeah, I'm a, it's the last verse. Uh, Deuteronomy 18 and 22. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, Yahweh. If the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Okay? So the point is, you know, all the, all these prophecies, you know, persecution, that's a prophecy. The insurrection, that's a prophecy. You know, uh, the hour of temptation, that's a prophecy. You know? And they're coming to pass. All right. In these last days, the Lord is putting his Holy Spirit on his men. Okay. And they're prophesying. They're laying it out. Okay. Giving you the blueprint, so to speak. You know. <clears throat> I forgot that rapper. I want to say future, but I, I don't I don't remember. He made a song talking about he got the keys, the keys, the keys. You know, the minute uh, Yahweh Bashim has uh, opened Revelation 5 and 5, you know, took those seals, unloosed the book, you know, and gave, and, and gave his understanding to his what? His, his prophets, beginning with the elder apostles of Great Millstone, you know? And his truth has just overtaken uh, the World Wide Web, the Internet, you know, and you got prophets everywhere. All right. So this devil, you know, this is this is pissing him off, you know, because he knows what we're saying is the truth at the end of the day. OK. So it's coming. All right. So with that, want to end it off and give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Yahweh Kapodash. Double honors to my old apostles, a great millstone ruling to teach well, and honors and salutations to the Akim, a great millstone pushing his truth throughout the four corners these last days. Kwam Yashallah and Baba Ba Shabbat Shalom.